This might be one of my favorite devices that I've ever reviewed, and it's definitely one of my favorite ones I've reviewed this year. This is the Dilve Poetry DT-1. This is by a company called Aoshida and Dilve Poetry. Now, if you're not familiar with Aoshida, uh, they own and operate a few different brands uh, that I'm aware of. Uh, I believe they own Topping and then also SMSL and of course Dilve Poetry as well. And I believe even Sabaj is underneath that umbrella. So there's a lot of great products that they have. Now, recently they came out with this Dill Poetry. What? By the looks of it, you can tell that it is a tube amplifier. In fact, this is a tube headphone amplifier, but it's not just that. When we turn it around, it is also a DAC. It is an all-in-one unit, and I gotta say, I really appreciate that. Not only does it do your digital DAC, which is a PC input, it does have digital coax and digital optical, but it also does Bluetooth 5.0. Now, the great thing about this is I've said that this can kind of hook up to just about anything, and it really can. That PC input is not only Windows capable, but it's also Mac and Linux capable as well. And it does do DSD 512. Now, your only output on this is going to be RCA output, but you can use that RCA output to hook up to another amplifier that you want to hook up maybe speakers to. Now, it's also very compact. In fact, it's not much bigger than the Topping L50 they recently reviewed, which saves you space by having everything all in one unit. And the thing that I like about this unit is a lot of times when you get all in one units, they're just not very good. They sacrifice something, but not this. This has actually gone above and beyond. They in fact use two headphone amplifiers, which reduces your noise. And they even went above and beyond by adding an OLED screen. Now this screen not only shows your volume control, but it shows you the input you're on and even the bit rate that you're hooked up at. And this display is very sharp. One of the sharpest ones that I've seen to date. And I gotta say, it looks really good. In fact, the entire unit looks very nice. From the very front of it, it has a nice unique look to it, the display and even the way that they have shown their tubes. Now the tubes are 6JN tubes, which allow you to be able to change it out to other tubes if you want to. So if you're one of those people that like to change your sound signature based on the tube that you put in, you can do that with this unit. Now the real question is, how does it sound? And this is the thing that really surprised me. It is one of the best sounding units that I've hooked up to date. Uh, when I plugged this in, it gave me that nice, rich warmth sound that I'm liking and expecting from a tube amplifier. In fact, it was much more crisp and warmer sounding than something like the Topping L50. Now, if I wanted to hook this up to speakers, we could use the RCA out to do that. Uh, and we'd hook that up to another amplifier. Now, the cool thing about this is that if I'm further away and I want to use and control the volume, I can do that with the included IR remote control. This allows me to change the volume, turn on and off the unit, and even switch inputs. And I could definitely see why that would be useful to some people. Now, I find this unit to be one of the units that uh, really is unique in the essence that it has everything built in one and actually still sounds good. In fact, if we take a look at the leaderboard, um, I think that this is actually very easy to place. Uh, under headphone amplifiers, you know what, I think you could make a case for this to be number one. I really do, but I'm not gonna put it number one. I'm gonna put it number two right behind the SMSL HO200. And the main reason being that there is no type of balanced output on the DT1, it is only RCA. So if you wanted balance in and out, you're gonna wanna go with the SMSL HO200. However, depending on what you're using this for, uh, it's quite possibly that I would tell you to go with the Dill Poetry over it. Now, as far as DAX, uh, this is quite simple to place. This is uh, right underneath the SMSL DO200. It's gonna be number two. Now, the reason why it's right below the SMSL DO200 uh, is quite simply because the SMSL DO200 offers so much more uh, to it, but that one even has sound signatures that you can change, and the Dill Poetry, you're pretty much stuck with whatever you have unless you want to EQ it some way yourself. So it'll be number two as far as DAC. And I gotta say, at the price that it's at, I think this is a really good value. And if you're looking for a headphone amplifier and a DAC all in one, I think that this should be on your list that you should be looking at. All right, guys, this is Toys DIY Audio. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Now, if you also want to take a look at some future builds that we do on this channel, I got some coming up soon. 
make sure to ring that bell so you get instant notification when that video comes out. All right, guys, this is Toys DIY Audio, and I'm out.